so today we're going to be making the keto fish akara this is um it's basically like easy to make and um, this is what it looks like and then you can use it you can eat it on its own like this on a low carb um, day or zero carb but there's nothing like zero carb diet mm -mm. so you can have it like this on a, a low carb day if you have the three days low carb diet uh, this thing or you can have it like this for breakfast with your maybe your eggplant um ugi or your butternut squash custard i have videos of that already in my um in my channel i'll just put a link where you can get those recipes to complement your uh, fish akara it's looking so good and it also tastes delicious mm. So this is the fish I'm going to use already washed. I'll add a little bit of salt to it. This is my steak seasoning pot. And just season it any, any way you want. Garlic, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of ginger. Seasoning. Why I'm seasoning it like this is when I'm ready to do it, I don't have to season again. The seasoning and the fish will be enough. And I add just a little water, not too much. Because I want to cook the water dry so that the fish can have all the flavors in it. I make sure the water dries out of the fish. I cook it dry on low heat so that all the seasoning will be inside the fish. So I'm just going to take out all the bones. So I'm done with um, taking out the bones. I'm going to add an egg and blend. You can use a spoon or a fork to mash the fish up. And you can use any fish you like. So I'm adding another egg. One egg wasn't enough, so I'm adding another one. I want to blend it as smooth as, as, as I possibly can go, but it's not going to blend that well. A little bit more so this is how our mixture this is what it looks like it's just like the Akara mixture and this is our oil you can use any oil you like you can use any fish you like I'm just gonna see if my oil is hot enough yeah I think it is so you scoop it the way you scoop your akara akara is deep fried I am so loving this. 